Come on now. Come on. Come on. You, you're not going to make that kind of favor. A uh, little bit. A little bit. Huh? Come on, man. <laughs> Lil Dawg's ex look like he could be uh, Brother Polite, a.k.a. Michael Nowak. Uh, son. Anyway, whether they look alike or not is irrelevant. I want to talk about their energy. See, they both possess the same trolling energy. They're trolls. They troll the black community and they prey on our young people. Now, who's putting them up to this? Well, Polite does it on his own for itself. And I think there are other groups, of course, as you know, who put Lil Nas uh, X up to it. Now, now, let's look at some facts. They insult our community, the black community, on different levels. Okay. Take Lil Nas X, okay, him and Boosie right now, they're going back and forth about black manhood is basically what it's about. Now, if being masculine, if you listen to this, watching this or whatever, if being masculine doesn't come naturally to you, keep being a bitch. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep being a bitch if being masculine doesn't come naturally to you. Okay? However, if it does come naturally to you, then, hey, that's what's supposed to happen. That's the natural order. Okay? Now, take Brother Polite. He jumps around, runs around for years now, claiming that the black woman is God. But then, he puts a dashiki on the white woman. See, he talks all that big talk about black women. This is what he does. And he doesn't do it in secret or in private. He does this as a trolling mechanism. Now, as you can see here for the Video Music Awards, this is Lil Nas X. Uh, he's dressed up like an Egyptian. Again, to troll the black community by promoting homosexuality. Dressing up like an Egyptian is an affront to those people's uh, legacy because they didn't condone this type of behavior. They definitely condone. Now, I would have understood and respected him at least a little bit if he dressed up like a Roman or even a Greek, but he didn't because it was an assault and an attack on black culture because it's highly revered, uh, Egypt that is, and their legacy is highly revered in the black community. And that's why he did this, you see. Now, let that sink in for a little bit. Their ability to use different type of troll tactics, psychological warfare against you and your children. Because that's, at the end of the day, that's what they're doing. And recently, uh, Polite uh, got four, I think, felony charges for assaulting, allegedly assaulting a, a young, uh, was a 14-year-old girl. So he took his to another level. Okay. They both put out extreme, twisted, sexual energy. And they push it right into our neighborhoods, man. Now, now take Lil, uh, Lil Nas X's name. Taken from Nas, a guy who represents masculine energy, and in black pride, and knowledge of self within the black community. He took his name, added X to it, like Malcolm X. Uh, the little he got from whoever, they say. 
But he didn't come up with that stuff on his own. I don't believe that. I think that someone else put him up to it. He came into the rap industry with an intention of trolling and changing a, an image of masculinity of black people, of the black male, and spread this foolishness onto, uh, onto teenage boys, black boys. And, and that's what he was put here for. You see? So, when you know that, every time he pops up on the screen, understand what he's doing. Understand those pictures that he's taking. Understand those images that he's trying to convey and put over to our children. Just like uh, Polite, putting images out of a flashy lifestyle. Meanwhile, he's hollering about, like I said, uh, uh, black consciousness and awareness. Okay? He puts out the images of something totally capitalistic and European. Even in his dress, his love of, of, of white uh, 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 cultures, uh, well, what you would call is fashion sense. Okay, we create the fashion, but he goes out and gets the uh, white designers and wears them around to give them props to make it feel like he's achieved something or he's uh, risen to a certain height. That's the image he wants to portray. You see? At any rate, I always thought it was curious how those two guys, those two trolls, uh, uh, Soup Coolers Incorporated, uh, looked alike and, and, and troll alike. Anyway, subscribe, like, share, whatever.